Here we're going to make limits look easy by using L'Hopital's rule. If both the numerator and denominator approach zero as x goes to some number, the limit can be solved by using L'Hopital's rule. Example. Let's take the limit of this expression as x goes to 3. We got x minus 3 divided by x squared minus 9. When we plug 3 into the numerator, we get 3 minus 3, or 0. When we plug 3 into the denominator, we get 3 squared minus 9, which is also 0. So here we can use L'Hopital's rule. So we have an indeterminate form of 0 over 0, and thus we can use this rule. How we, what, what is the rule? Let's take the derivative of the numerator and divide it by the derivative of the denominator. Then you, then you evaluate the resulting expression at the limit. So once again, our problem, the derivative of the numerator, x minus 3, is just 1. The derivative of the denominator, x squared minus 9, is just 2x. Following the rule, we're going to look at 1 divided by 2x and take the limit of that as x goes to 3, and we get an answer of 1 6. Here's another example. First, we want to check if this is an indeterminate form of 0 over 0. So plugging 6 into the numerator, we're going to get 36 minus 36, or 0. Plugging 6 into the denominator, we get the same thing. We get 0. So the derivative of the numerator is going to be 2x minus 3. The derivative of the denominator is just minus 1. And now taking the derivative of the numerator over the derivative of the denominator and evaluating that expression as x goes to 6, we're going to get 9 in the numerator and just minus 1 down here, so our answer is just minus 9. And one last example. Again, we'll check if it's in the appropriate indeterminate form. So as x goes to 10, the numerator goes to 0, as well as the denominator. So taking the derivative then of the numerator, we're going to get minus 1 divided by x squared, just using the quotient rule on 1 divided by x. And then taking the derivative of the denominator, we just get 1. So now we're going to take the limit of this expression as x goes to 10. Simplifying, we get minus 1 divided by 10 squared, or minus 1 over 100. Okay, that's it.